and welcome to the stage your next performer with some silence, please. <laughs> Bridget Quigg. <laughs> Do that. All right, there we go for the tall people. Hi, everyone. I was raised super conservative, Republican, Catholic. All right, much nod to my last friend here on stage. So my dad had a picture of Pope John Paul II and Ronald Reagan on his desk my entire childhood. Eight by ten glossies and Ronnie's was autographed. Yeah. When I wanted reading material, my dad would hand me books like Long Liberated Ladies which is stories of female saints in the Catholic Church who got to have amazing lives because they gave them to God, like St. Hildegard who wrote music and Joan of Arc who went to war. So that was the reading material in the household. It was pretty intense. So fast forward to applying to colleges, getting ready. I get into Stanford. Woo! Thank you, thank you. And, uh, and uh, bittersweet for dad, right, because Stanford is a bastion of liberal thinking. Am I right? You know, it's like a very threatening place to send his child. <laughs> Not totally excited. So his advice to me is, Bridget, go down there and change them. <laughs> One of his favorite songs was Onward Christian Soldiers, just to give you a flavor. So they are the liberals of Stanford, and I am the Catholic conservative movement of one who's going to get everyone to convert to Catholicism, just to start. Um, they need to join the pro-life movement, definitely. And then also stop having sex before marriage. It's not allowed. So off I go. I really try. I joined the pro-life club, and I'm its president in like two months. Way to go, me. High achiever. I speak for True Love Waits, which is exactly what it sounds like. And my father is so concerned about how liberal the Catholics are on campus that he introduces me to people in the organization called Opus Dei. Okay, so you've heard of it. You've read Dan Brown books. <laughs> They're not all albinos who do self-torture, but... <laughs> They're really nice people who are just really pumped about being Catholic, okay? And they stick tight to all the conservative ideals right down the line, right? So I'm going to mass off campus with the Opus Dei folks at the women's house, because they're separated, men and women. And that's where we, <clears throat> confession, all that stuff. So needless to say, it's a little bit of a socially isolating year. <laughs> I uh, can't make friends even with Protestants. You know, it's really, it's really lonely. <laughs> and so I make my way through it, and I, I, like, I went vegan that year and lost 30 pounds. I didn't have a lot of friends. I was getting all A's, but I was really unhappy. Like, it was a very difficult year. A lot of pent up, like not a lot of joy. I put that way, and my, it's like my play meter went to zero, right? So I wasn't playing enough. So fortunately, with my hookup with Opus Dei, <laughs> I let them know I've always wanted to go to Spain, which is true. And they're like, oh, we'll get you hooked up over there. You can teach at a camp, an English conversation camp. And I'm like, amazing, this is great. So I get all set up. So I fly to Spain that summer, which is so exciting. I arrive, and I'm staying in a place called Murcia, if you know it's down in the south. Family with 12 children and one on the way. Mama is pregnant again. Awesome family. So much fun. The Carmona Beldas. They are like the best time, right? So it's just this raucous household. They're always like playing dominoes. People are running around. I learn a lot about giving commands to large groups of children in Spanish, like callados or sientados, which is shut up and sit down. A lot of that. But like the older girls have boyfriends and they pick them up on mopeds and they go into town and hang out and like it's a it's such a loose levity filled version of Catholicism that I'm like whoa this is amazing and it's so fun and I'm like eating fresh figs for the first time lots of cool things you do when you go to Spain so I'm here and this this tightness is just starting to unravel in this beautiful country with these really warm lovely people so off I go to camp after about a week and now I'm heading up to the foothills of the Pyrenees totally beautiful in northern Spain. And I get the, to this camp, and lo and behold, it's almost sillier than the house that I was just at. Like, you're like, Opus Day camp must not be much fun. Everybody's in uniforms. I don't know. But it's not that way at all, actually. And um, in particular, there's these extremely good-looking, like, maintenance guys that work at the camp. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. 
<laughs> you know, they're like lanky and tan. They have shaggy hair that's dark. They speak Spanish with an accent and they flirt a lot and you're just like, oh my God. It's like so good. And I'm like thin and pale and I dress poorly, but you know, they still give me the love because they're Spanish. <laughs> So I, f I feel my day sitting at park bench, just like talking to girls and their English is like horrific. You know, like, I am a piano. And I was like, no, you play piano. You know, I was like, oh. We're not great students. But they were really fun. And they like, but they had like short shorts. And they knew all the American pop stars. Like these were just not the girls you'd imagine at Opus Dei camp. So on we go with the summer and I am um, having so much fun and I'm really starting to loosen up. And just as a nod to like how I feel like the summer really capped in this wonderful way that was like, you know what, just let it go and be like an easygoing Catholic kid. Last day of camp, the parents come to see what their daughters have learned and they're on like stylish pencil skirts and summer suits, very nice party. The girls sing a song. It is not Ave Maria, it is not Amazing Grace, it is Imagine by John Lennon. <laughs> Right? Imagino religion. It's like, who, who filtered this song? No one, apparently, everybody's sipping wine and just having a great time. And it was my moment to realize I'm going to chill out about my Catholicism. Thank you. Yeah.